Welcome back to Being the Difference, a town hall on diversity and inclusion. Now, the demand for diversity and inclusion has been prominent amongst people of color across the world for decades and arguably centuries. And when we say diversity, we do not just mean add more people of color into the mix. Because even though you mix eggs, flour, butter, vanilla, and sugar to bake a mean pound cake, if you have too many eggs or too much vanilla, you might not come out with a delicious result. What makes it all come together is the steady mixing and blending of the ingredients to make one solid bowl of batter. And then with applied heat, the batter rises and forms into a golden brown pound cake. Who knew a video of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd and a picture of Brenna Taylor would stir together folks of different backgrounds about systemic racism across the world. And in the heat of late spring, and throughout the summer, people rose, stood, lifted their voices and fists to the sky to demand for change. Now, don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of activism throughout history on this subject, of course. In recent times, the Black Lives Matter movement was initiated after the death of Trayvon Martin in 2013. But there wasn't a global pandemic that took away the distractions of our individual worlds. This time is different. And inclusion stems from the same place. Often the perception is if you throw in a person of color or a member of the LGBTQ plus community in the background, that's enough and the work is done. But inclusion is so much deeper than face value. Inclusion takes consistent effort and work to have a successful impact. If diversity is a pound cake, then inclusion is like a complex chain of dominoes. If even one part is missing from the group, then the entire chain will fail. However, when the effort is put in and carried through, it leads to a wonderful creation. Just like never ending consistent pieces linked together to create a beautiful piece of art. The joy of feeling seen, whether it's on a show or on a campus, should be felt by everyone always. And while we've made small steps towards change, they are exactly that, small. Until we create a space for all to be seen, the work isn't done. And this does not just come from administration, governors and presidents, or even just white people. Yes, this also includes you, my brothers and sisters of color. We too have some work to do. So here's a short list of how we can promote diversity and inclusion amongst ourselves. First off, let's speak some light and not have to fall back or settle for the stereotype. There's no such thing as acting black, talking white. Being raised in the suburbs or in the hood does not make someone more or less bright. Let's not subject ourselves to only being one way. Education is power, my sister and my brother. Even Jay-Z said, intelligence is not attributed to color. And for years now, they say that we developed a slave-like mentality. It's competition to get what's yours almost like a bucket full of crabs. Where instead, we should be the first to lift each other up. That should be our reality. And if we can't do it ourselves, we can't look to others to fully support us back. And what's up with people saying that you don't look a certain way? Tell me about it. You don't look Hispanic. You don't look black. You don't look Asian. Whatever it is, we're adding it to the list. And we can name all these things. And there are certainly things that we have missed. But let's leave you all with some inspiration and a story of perseverance. Once upon a time, there was a girl of color growing up in an environment where not too many people looked like her. And not too far from her was a boy and his older sister growing up in a similar white community, the suburbs. All throughout grade school, she felt like any other student, but for the other students, she was different. She wasn't like them. And the boy experienced the same. His passions for sports and music were ways that he showed his talents and then was bullied for how he looks and even talks. However, these two did not quit, could not quit, and still won't quit. And being told you're too short, you're too tall, too big, too pale, too dark, too white, too black, fueled their inspiration. And this inspiration allowed them to be accepted into a well-known university called Marquette. And that was, and is, only the beginning. Today, that little girl 
and little boy too is me alex rivera grant the executive entertainment producer for mutv and incoming general manager of mutv andrew amuzu hopefully this program inspired you and pushed yourself and others to be open to these conversations and always remember what you reveal is what you heal so let's all heal together and strive in being the, the difference, difference.